tonight. I know you're going to love them. Here is 11th hour. say, I know I do. <laughs> well, we are 11th hour and we are so excited to be back at NQC. And let's give a big round of applause to the board members and the sound crew and everybody that makes this happen, the volunteers. My goodness. It's a big task to put this on and I know they do a wonderful job and we are just so honored to be here. Um, we've had a lot of exciting things going on as far as 11th hour and I'm excited to uh, introduce the bunch to you. And uh, Victoria, come on up here, honey. You look beautiful in your red. Yeah. Victoria's been with us now for a little uh, over a year and uh, we're so excited um, to have her with us. She's originally from Springfield, Tennessee. Um, her and her hus husband um, are youth leaders at their church. She leads worship at her church and doing a wonderful job. And uh, she also sings with us. My goodness, you're a busy woman. Don't stop. <laughs> How about it for Miss Victoria Bowen tonight? Now y'all, this has been a long time coming. We've been praying, come here Garrett. You look real good. He's usually a behind the scenes guy. He drove the bus for us and uh, ran the sound for us. And uh, we always knew that he could sing, but of course, and especially as a wife, I had to just sit back and just wait on the Lord to, to do his work and make sure it was the Lord. But after a lot of praying and uh, fasting, Garrett decided, you know what? I'm gonna take the position and I'm so excited to say I now get to share the stage with my husband. How about it for Garrett Saunders tonight? is our boss lady, but I like to call her my friend. I love this girl. We've become very close over the past almost year and a half, and uh, I get the privilege and honor, and Garrett too, to share the stage with one of the most talented sopranos in gospel music. Would you welcome Miss Amber Epinet Saunders? This next song that we're going to sing, uh, Garrett and I, we honestly don't write a lot together. All three of us write as individuals, but uh, Garrett and I didn't really write together as a couple. And, uh, you know, he, he loves me all the time, but he doesn't like me most of it. Can I get a witness? Yeah, okay. 
So um, we finally decided to write a song together with one of our friends, Nathan Woodard. And uh, we had our grandparents in mind when we wrote this song, just a simple song talking about writing a letter to heaven. And we had no idea that last year we would go through one of the hardest um, times in our marriage. And uh, we ended up losing a baby. And then a few months after writing that song, we ended up recording it. And we didn't know when we were writing it that we it would have a whole new meaning. But I'm so glad to say that in heaven, there's not going to be any more goodbyes. It's going to be hellos forever. Amen. But I say all that to say this. Even though it was such a hard tragedy last year, God turned things around. And on August 27th, we welcomed little five-pound, six-ounce baby boy. <laughs> Y'all, we might as well go to the house. <laughs> Sing praise the Lord. Welcome the new boss, Vincent Saunders. I'm writing you this letter. I've got so much to say. I know that it will be a while before I see your face. I'll probably start rambling as my pen hits the page and we'll read it all together one day letters to heaven I'll tell you about the babies and how they've all grown up how some days are easy and the others oh so tough I could write a hundred pages, but it wouldn't be enough. P.S. How I miss you so much. Letters to heaven. As far as my heart can tell, I know that you're doing well in glory. And you're
inside of you and me and there's a passion in our hearts we're burning with desire and it's rising up inside like an